All right, my 4A scholars. So what we have here is the 5.03 planning option one. Um, with option one, if you so choose, what you would end up doing is you'd be writing the topic, the three subtopics that you came up with from 5.02, the brainstorming. Okay. Once you've gotten those three in, then you need to start doing some research. And you're going to have to do this for option two as well because it is a re research project. So what you do is for the sub subtopic that you chose, you're going to do some research and see if you can find quotes or uh, summary or paraphrasing. And paraphrasing just means like you're updating the language to make it sound like you. Oftentimes we do this uh, whenever we're trying to understand something better. Um, you want to make sure though that you tell where you got it from and if there is like an author's name, the group's name, the company's name, because that's going to be important for your in-text citation. When you do the in-text citation um, in the actual finished product, you're going to do uh, parentheses and then whatever the name is and then in parentheses right after the quote or summary or paraphrase so that way you're giving proper credit to the one that got it done. All right. Other than that, it's literally just the same thing over again. So you're getting two quotes, summaries or paraphrases about the topic that you chose for one topic and then do the same thing for the second topic and then do the same thing for the third topic and you're done. That's it. That's all it is for this one. Now, I would suggest at least looking at the video for the option two, even if this one sounds great to you, because there are some other things in there that you might want to use for um, whenever you are trying to put it all together. All right. If you need anything, let me know. You got this.